Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The average airport is usually very busy, with taxiing aircraft moving from terminal to hangar to runway and back again. And while smaller planes can accomplish these movements on their own, larger aircraft require a whole lot of help. After all, an empty Boeing 747 weighs around 400,000 pounds. Therefore, when not flying, the most effective way to get such massive aircraft from point A to point B is to use what's known as a pushback truck. These small trucks are inevitable to most airports since airplanes have no reverse gear and cannot move backward on their own. The low-profile vehicles are made of heavy steel and often weigh over 50 tons on their own. They use special drawbars or a landing gear scoop system to grip the nose wheel strut of the plane and maneuver it around the airport. In terms of power, the average pushback puts out around 280 horsepower. However, some newer models have as little as 75 horsepower and still generate massive amounts of torque to emit a drawback pull of up to 12,000 pound force for their Herculean assignments. Many pushbacks, like this one at Hanover Airport in Germany, rely on the tow bar system to push and pull their planes. The 26 feet long F396E tug is built with fully automatic transmission and four wheel drive to serve all wide bodied aircraft at the airport. The ramp agent coordinates the operation from start to finish. He keeps constant visual contact with the pushback truck driver while staying in permanent radio contact with the pilot. Each plane has a specialized tow bar designed to be used only with that model. Once the appropriate bar is attached, the driver can move the plane easily from the hangar to the runway or any other location all over the facility. This pushback even has a special cab that can be adjusted to give the driver a better view of his surroundings during the operation. When it comes to smaller aircraft like the Boeing 767s or Bombardiers, the F-396E makes way for the Challenger 160 Trapel or the Comet 12A diesel tow tractor. Pushbacks can be specialized to operate in almost all weather conditions, including snow and ice. Their extreme weight and thick treaded tires ensure they can keep a firm grip on the runway surface beneath them. But even in the best of conditions, airports can be hard to navigate. To solve this problem and keep everything on track, most larger facilities employ what is known as a follow me car. These brightly colored vehicles act as visual aids leading planes across the airport facility and on the runways. This type of efficiency is essential to the functioning of any airport. With pushbacks and follow me cars, airport officials can make sure every airplane is where it should be, safely and promptly every time. While airplanes can be hard to maneuver at times, they at least have wheels to aid in the process. The same can't be said for maritime vessels, especially the bigger vessels. When docking or leaving port, these giants of the seas simply don't have the ability to turn around and move out, even when they're under power. 
Obviously, a 1,200-foot-long behemoth like the Wonder of the Seas, which weighs more than 200,000 gross tons, can do a lot of damage to the dock, environment, and other boats if left to drift out of control. And that's not to mention what might happen to the ship itself. So when it comes time to safely get these floating cities into port, dockmasters employ the pushback trucks of the sea, the tugboats. Tugboats are the heavy workers of most of the world's ports, which means they do a lot more than just assist cruise ships. Shipping barges are a much more frequent visitor to your average dock, and they have just as much trouble controlling their direction as the big ships. Tugs often work in teams to pull, push, and direct barges down rivers and through busy waterways. Tugboats have immensely powerful engines that sit very low in the water. This enables them to generate huge amounts of thrust while providing them with increased maneuverability. Therefore, tug crews often have all the comforts of home while living aboard state-of-the-art tugs, like the Sir Edward in Mauritius. Launched in August 2016 during a very colorful ceremony, every piece of equipment from bow to stern is highly advanced with spacious and very comfortable living quarters for the crew below deck. The 100-foot tug weighs an impressive 497 tons. It also features a massive engine room complex with two diesel engines, which are rated to put out 1800 RPM giving the Sir Edward a huge amount of pulling power. At the other end of the equation are the flat deck barges used throughout the shipping ports of the world. These boats are designed for one purpose, carrying as much cargo as possible. Many of the simplest barges are just plainly floating platforms with no ability to drive themselves. These dumb barges, as they are often referred to, must be pulled by tugs or pushed by other boats in order to reach their destination. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.